Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below what you would like me to do for future guitar and music-related content. So today, we are talking about the Harley Benton CLC 650 SM. Comes in two colors. You got kind of this tobacco color, which I'll be showing you throughout the course of the video. Uh, and then you got like a solid black color. Uh, Price-wise, they are both $456 US. Uh, not exactly sure what the European price is. But the interesting thing is this is a solid, fully solid guitar for the sub $500 range. And that is very interesting uh, because you don't see a lot of solid wood acoustics for that range. Uh, in retrospect, you don't see a, a lot of solid wood mahogany acoustics in general. Um, most of the time they have like an ash top or something along those, you know, spruce, something along those lines for the top. But this is all solid mahogany. And you're probably wondering, how are they creating a solid mahogany guitar for sub $500? Now, it's not going to be 100% perfect. I can tell you that right now from my experience with Harley Benton's in the past. Um, there's going to be some finishing issues, you know, nothing like major playability issues, any problems there. But expect a scratch here and there, you know, a little blemish in the paint. Nothing that's the end of the world. Maybe you'll get a perfect one. Uh, who knows? You know, Harley Benton's been putting out some pretty decent stuff lately. So it, it might not surprise you if you get a perfect one. Uh, the main part I see where they cheaped out is the tuner. So um, I've seen this on quite a few Harley Bettons. And you got to cut costs somewhere. So no big deal. You know, if the tuners don't work for you, go buy a set of locking tuners or something along those lines. Uh, another spot where they saved is the fretboard. It is a composite fretboard. That means it is not a actual wood. It is some sort of uh, wood-like material, synthetic material, uh, kind of like rich light, where it's basically almost like just compressed stuff. And that is both a good thing and a bad thing. Uh, Tone-wise, some people say it's really bad, uh, but then again, the entire guitar is made out of mahogany, and how much the fretboard is going to affect that, well, that is to be deciphered for you. Obviously, it's going to affect it some, because uh, woods affect acoustics way more than they do electrics. Yes, there's still differences, subtle differences, but um, obviously an acoustic is going to be affected by that far more than an electric guitar. Uh, what surprised me is they actually have a Fishman system in here. That is the Fishman Flex Plus T pickup system uh, with integrated tuner. So that is definitely interesting to see um, on there right out of the box. You know, a decent, a decent, you know, acoustic electric guitar with a decent pickup in it where you're not going to have to try to replace that or something. Uh, the strings are 12 to 53. Um, I don't really know the exact range of acoustic strings. I know acoustics are usually a little thicker than electric, so that sounds about right. Uh, it is a top, back, and sides, all solid mahogany. Design is called the Grand Concert. There is a cutaway. I know some people do not like cutaway acoustics. So th this may not be for you. Uh, nut width, it says, is 43 millimeters, 20 frets. Uh, the color is either sunburst or black, and there is no case and no gig bag. So if you do want a case or gig bag, you're going to have to pay up a little bit. I know Harley Benton does, I think, include a case on some of their guitars, uh, but this particular one, obviously, to want to cut costs. Uh, 9 out of 10, you're probably looking at over $500. I'm not exactly sure what their cases go for, uh, but you can expect that if you if you uh, want to buy a hard case shell case for this decent acoustic guitar. But let's just kind of read you their description of it and go from there. It says, Harley Benton CLC 650 SM uh, v CE VS Solid Wood Full Solid Custom Line Series Western Guitar Grand Concert. Uh, Vientin Cutaway, I, I just butchered that word, select solid A grade Africa mahogany body, armrest, which is nice, there is kind of an armrest on the guitar, a lot of people like that. Uh, C-shaped neck, that'll be nice, I know that's typical C-shaped, probably thin neck, uh, I'm guessing it's probably going to be similar to that Fender, possibly Gibson 60s profile, most likely. Uh, wooden radius, wooden binding, uh, mother of pearl dots. Uh, composite bridge, bone saddle, and nut. 
Uh, I don't see any problem with having a bone nut and bone saddle. You see that a lot of acoustics. Um, split rhombus, mother of pearl headstock inlays, 44 double action truss rod. That's different. Usually you see a lot of single action truss rods. Maybe the, maybe the acoustics are more double action, uh, but that is definitely something interesting there. Double pearl. And then you got the Fishman's, you know, high gloss. I'm just going to bring up a couple of pictures right here. And it is just a nice guitar. I don't know if the neck is, is the neck mahogany too? Let's see, back and sides. It doesn't specify what the neck is made out of. Because if you look at the grain, comparing the neck to the back and sides, and it, it is a nicely figured piece of mahogany, uh, I'll be honest right with you. The neck... I don't know. It doesn't look like mahogany. It, it kind of looks like mahogany. It's got to be kind of. It's got to be mahogany. That that's my best bet. Is it's got to be some type of mahogany, maybe a lighter wood or something similar to mahogany. But it doesn't specify what the actual neck wood is made out of, and that's a very interesting. Usually they do. It doesn't say maple. <laughs> doesn't give me any specifics. I don't want the neck's made of. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the other one. See if it's the same thing. Yeah, it doesn't specify what, this, what the neck's out of. I mean, you, you would think they would have that on there. That is definitely something interesting. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why they don't have uh, any type of, you know, what, what is the neck made out of. Um, you know, it says Okaku neck. Oh, it's an Okume neck. So, all right, there's some cost right there. So, yeah, here is my major issue with the guitar. I just looked it up what this type of uh, wood is here and it's basically similar to plywood um, they use it for boat building <laughs> things along those lines uh, it, and it's the wow that's that's where they save money on this guitar 100% is the neck wood uh, feel free to look up the name of the neck wood uh, it is spelled O-K-O-U-M-E, and let me tell you, it is sh it is not good wood. It's it, I, I I see where they cut the costs here because you, using that as opposed to using something along the lines of it says it is a weak. I'll, I'll give you what it says right off the Wikipedia page. It is a weak wood with low decay resistance and moderate dimensional stability. Uh, it's made, it's used in a lot of plywood, um, it's used in boat building, that doesn't mean it's bad, but why would you use something that's the equivalent of plywood when you're doing uh, an acoustic guitar? That is definitely not a plus in my book, so that's, that's where they're saving the money, they figure, oh, the neck doesn't, uh, you know, resonate, it's the body that resonates, let's make the body out of the good stuff because it's going to be super thin because it's acoustic but uh, the neck we're going to go with something else and it is rated as not durable poor insect resistance so that means it's going to wear out over time even being sealed uh as a as a veneer very apparently it's sold as a veneer uh is not listed veneer plywood boat building musical instruments furniture so it is used in some furniture but it's 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 not like mahogany. What is going on with that? It is not good at all. I I would, <laughs> I mean, just based on the neck. I don't know if I I like the way the guitar looks though. That's the problem. It's a really nice looking guitar, but at the same time, it just looks uh, bad. Like I don't like plywood guitars. Who likes a plywood guitar? I, I think they, they should have just upped it 50 bucks and, and gone for the real piece of mahogany neck, even if you're going to do the, you know, composite fretboard. But, wow, that hurts it so much. I didn't know what that was. Now I do. Now you do as well. So be advised, plywood neck, basically. Uh, I'm looking at a comparison of this to mahogany, um, and it's basically, it seems like it's, it's happening, especially in, in Chinese guitar manufacturing. Um, you know, cheap copies, low-end acoustics, um, because it's available and it's a low cost. 
Um, and basically, due to the shortage of lightweight mahogany, this is probably more of what we're going to see in the future, especially on those cheaper end guitars. So, I mean, there you have it. Do with that information as you will. Um, it looks really nice. I'll be honest, I like the grain of the neck. I like the way the body looks, but uh, that, that single-handedly might stop me from buying it. I'm going to have to take a look at Orangewood again, see what they're doing, because I've been looking for an acoustic. I have been looking for an acoustic, but I can't seem to find one at a reasonable price that is made out of decent wood, so who knows? Used market, here I come. My name is Steve Gray. This is Gray's Guitars. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.